Hello to all of my Taurus. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Taurus. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Yes, this reading is for Motivational Monday. You may be watching this on Sunday, but this reading is for the 6th of November through the 6th of December. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully you all updated your clocks. <laughs> Hopefully you, you updated those manual clocks, you know, you know, I'm thinking, I think your cell phones. I think our cell phones automatically update, you know, everything. But um, anyway, let's get right into your reading. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising and Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart, in your inner and outer planets, north, south node on the cusp. I'm talking if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. OK, all right. Somebody has definitely gained a lot of wisdom about some things from the past. Here we have the king of swords, the five of swords, the. Five of Cups, the King of Wands. We also have the Page of Wands and then also the Three of Swords. Um, somebody really did not realize when it comes... Here we have the King of Swords. You gained a lot of wisdom about something. Here we have the Five of Swords. I don't know if you saw that. Five of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. Oops. We also have the King of Wands. We also have the Page of Wands. And then we also have the Six of Cups. <clears throat> All right. So when we talk about your heart chakra, because there's a lot of air here connecting us with our heart chakra, when you allow people to get that close to your heart, you know, and it's not always erotic love. It could have been erotic love. And it also could have just been, hey, I just, I really love their energy. I really love, you know, their spunk, their, their, the way they talk, the way, you know, that kind of energy. Like, um, until some kind of heartbreak or deep disappointment occurred, right? Then that would be conditional, right? So it's just saying to you, somebody did not realize just how they were coming across the people. Sometimes, again, that soil, that um, your your earth sign, right? And the beautiful thing about we have us having a, a full moon and Taurus and also um, the lunar eclipse is that, that in order for a total lunar eclipse to occur, you had to let your emotions go down to the darkest shadows of your emotions in every area you are here on earth. So some deep disappointment started and some heartbreak started in somebody's family, right? So you can look at the heartbreak that, that your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or friends or whatever broke your heart. But how did it get to that point that somebody didn't see it coming in a friendship long before you started dating in a friendship, right? And that's what somebody is processing now, right? There is an energy right now while you're in the in the while you are in your healing mode, wanting you to vibrate on a lower frequency, right? Kind of like go back into a wilderness, like being lost, right? And acting like very reactive. There's like somebody actually expects that. When um and and this is you right here. Source is saying you're gonna feel rejuvenated when you don't step down off of your throne. So somebody's on their throne for your King of Swords and also the King of Wands. This is masculine energy, right? So when we talk about your thoughts and your actions and your ideas, somebody is literally saying right now, if I can't help uplift people, I'm certainly not going to play a role in tearing them down with my words or my bad ideas about them or any of that, right? So it it is possible that somebody, by their past experience with you, you may not have recognized that some people, remember the, court, the sword cuts both sides. You got a lot of ancestors around you saying, you may have gone through a lot of hurt and pain and you may not have known that you were coming across to other people hurt. A lot of people, when we hurt, we don't know what our purpose is. That's we, all of us, right? We don't know why we're here on earth and we're trying to figure stuff out. We don't even know how we come across to other people. So source is saying to you, move on in childlike faith. But somebody's energy level is going to increase because it's in humility that somebody is saying, I didn't even realize I was coming across as um, hurt. I didn't, I didn't realize that I was, um, coming across as hurt. You know, that, that saying, uh, Taurus hurt people, hurt people. So I do see somebody having a lot of ideas moving forward. Obviously you're a very smart sign. So I see somebody has a lot of ideas moving forward and how you're going to increase your wealth. Um, if you can think of it this way, whenever you, you're your own universe, meaning your own mind. When I say universe, you're your own mind. You're your own earth, your own physical body, right? And whenever you want to join with somebody else's earth, their universe, their elements, their water, air, fire, um, 
in earth, right? When you want to join with somebody else's, they're also giving you to some degree and some level of access to them, right? Their emotions, how they think, you know, their earth would be like their belief systems, their tribe, their people, you know, their, their experiences here on earth and their lives too. And sources says we're all, I mean, we're all unique, so because you, you know, before you got to your throne, you may have had the worst possible ideas about somebody. You may have even talked negatively about somebody. And when you send out energy into the world, especially with air signs, because that's how they receive, they get that energy. They receive that energy through the air. So it can come through gossip and another person telling. It can come at your mouth. And when you interact with them, they can catch you cutting your eye. They pick up, they pick up energy there that air that out that same air that we breathe is just like tearing up a sheet of paper and releasing it so you don't know where it's flying you don't know who knows who you don't know who's talking to who you don't know what's people saying that kind of thing and so source is saying um source is saying to you before you talk negatively about a person moving forward before you talk negatively about a person um consider that and i mentioned this in somebody else's reading too because somebody has this right here if i cannot help uplift them i would rather detach because i don't want that i'm not trying to contribute to somebody else's pain if i don't know the full story right if i don't know what is going on i would rather detach you know from that energy and um i know source is going to assign other people you know to them the three of swords came out twice the full card the sun card the empress card everything is fine and ace of swords Somebody is definitely going to have a, a breakthrough. See, the three of swords came out twice. Somebody could have been broken heart by two, like deep heartbreak by two energies in particular. But remember, source is saying everything is fine. Ace of swords, I see you having a breakthrough. So congratulations on your breakthrough. Breakthrough really does feel like a breakdown, like breakdown in communication. You feel like you're going crazy. Literally, you feel like you're going crazy. And... um Unfortunately, when people catch you at that breakdown moment, unfortunately, if you connect with the wrong people or people that's on that frequency too, and they're trying to plug into you for air and you having a breakdown, that can be a disaster. But source is saying somebody no longer feels like a fool because they found their son. They found their purpose, their purpose in life. Somebody found their purpose in life. So congratulations to you. You know, it's a great feeling when you're in the warmth of your own sunlight. See how this little child, you feel more youthful. It's like your inner child has come out to play. This red right here connects us with the root chakra. So somebody's going all the way back like to between ages of zero and seven, right? And that's what I'm seeing for somebody. Somebody is definitely going through a rebirth. I love it. Rebirth, rebirth, rebirth. After coming out of a situation that was heartbreaking and felt like for somebody it was going to, you know, like feel like a dagger through your heart, right? Literally feel like, okay, I don't know why. I don't know why this stuff is happening. What in the world, right? And again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, for somebody, um, there could be a Leo that's watching somebody just kind of sort of, you know, just trying to see what's going on, like still trying to piece together the pieces of a puzzle, trying to make things make sense and trying to see if you're going to come back into something. But I don't see you going back into a situation. I don't see you going back into a situation. As a matter of fact, I see you feeling like a person who has changed, liberated and free. I see you going through this rebirth into abundance and prosperity and ready to move on from something, right? So... Somebody may be pregnant, right? So uh, congratulations. Con pregnant with a baby or pregnant with uh, twins for somebody. Somebody could be pregnant with a book, could be pregnant with some new ideas about how to start a business since somebody's on their throne, like new ideas. So it's all good. It's, it's nothing negative. It's all positive. But source saying when you kind of walk it back and see where you came from to get to that throne and somebody may not have realized that's where that term hurt people, hurt people come from. Somebody may not even recognize when you shut down, stop talking, living in your head, not talking, like not communicating, it could have sent out the wrong signal to people. Like, okay, I feel helpless. I can't help you. You're not tell you're not talking to me, like shaking you by your shoulders. What is going on? Right. And if you feel like you rushed to, you know, like like I said, your symbol is a bull. Somebody could have said something to cut you deep, and it could have been like a bull in the china closet, on and popping, right? So source is saying to you, the more and more you recognize that when you're connecting with other people's universe, it's always a good idea to try to understand how they communicate, learn how to rule, read between the lines. Because some people will say, okay, if you're living in your head and you're not talking, or every time I you start talking, something negative flies out because you didn't, I didn't give you a chance to 
process your emotions. So that's what somebody's just learning lessons. That's all. That's all. Somebody's just learning lessons. So congratulations for getting to your throne of your power and your intellect and a throne of your ideas. Again, I, I feel I feel strongly somebody feels like a changed person, liberated and free. If I can't help you find a throne in your universe, if I can't, you know, if I don't have anything kind to say about you, I would rather detach because I don't want that to come back on me. So um, again, everybody has purpose. And so I do see somebody having a very rich legacy because of that, you know, and definitely death to the ego. No, somebody said, I'm not going to stand around and let people talk negatively about people anymore. If somebody let me get that close to their heart, I'm not going to let people talk that because I already know how that feels, right? If I feel like somebody was depressed or dealing with some kind of mental illness or whatever the case may be, I'm not going to sarcastically say, I hope they get the help that they need, <laughs> you know? Like some people do that. I'm like, wow, really? Just, just laced with sarcasm. So some people really mean that. But again, if you really want to help somebody, you'll stop the conversation. That's what Source is trying to tell you is that everything is fine. You may have gone through that in your own family where people didn't protect you and saw that you were sad or depressed about something or they just kept flying around and didn't give you the nurturing that you need. Like, get up. You know, it's going to be all right. What's wrong with you? You don't have anything. You know how parents sometimes say to their kids, what do you have to be sad for? You in the third grade, right? And you're like, well, somebody stole my pencil or whatever. You're like, you got a roof over your head, like totally dismissing you know, those emotions. But anyway, I do see somebody having a very rich legacy, you know, and uh, you and your person. And then also we have the high priestess. I do see you listening to your intuition moving forward. So congratulations to you all. Everybody deserves to be on their throne, literally. But, you know, you think, okay, well, just because people get to their throne differently than what I got to mine doesn't make them dumb, doesn't make them slow, doesn't make them whatever. A lot of people, everybody is fighting through generational stuff, right? So source is saying you have an innate spiritual understanding of things now. So congratulations to you. We also have the page of wands and then also the death card, right? So definitely death to some kind of ego about something. You're not participating in any more hurt. You're not, that's what I'm seeing here in the card. So source is cooking up something nice for you as a result of that. As a result of that, sources, and I got something nice for you. So get yourself prepared to be in receiving mode because you have a very rich legacy. So um, I see you either meeting your new person or something is happening where life is about to change in ways that, like I said, somebody just never even imagined. Yeah, never even imagined because you're on your throne, right? So source saying get to get through your throne of emotion, you're going to have to have childlike faith. Learning how to control your creativity, your emotions, but something is definitely coming around once in a blue moon. So, you know, um, believe in the impossible. I see somebody with their person. I see somebody very happy, you know, happily connected with their person. And also, it's a good idea for you all, Taurus, and even for my cross watchers who know they have Taurus in their birth chart, to look at some of other Taurus on social media that's happily married, you know, living a very wealthy lifestyle that's. You know, not that you're not that you're like hashtag goals because of their marriage, but just to know, OK, or even let me let me read some books of some people who Taurus, you know, who in their marriage. And, and, you know, a lot of people will put a lot of their life in their books. They're telling you the, the real truth. Like we went through highs and lows. We went through this and that and so on and so forth so that you don't feel like you're the only person on the planet that's um, deeply disappointed, can't find the right person, heartbroken or whatever. So. Yeah, so I do see somebody definitely healing. I don't see somebody going back to an ex. I don't see somebody, you know, going back into a situation for you where you felt like you were in survival mode in a relationship, right? But I do see some real change here that people are speaking up because this source is like, I really want you more in your masculine energy. This is for men and women, uh, Taurus. I really want you to speak up before you feel like you're blowtorched or before somebody says or does something that cuts you deep to the core, right? Without somebody just doing a mind reading, you know, session. I got to read your mind and blah, 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 right? Like look in your mind. But anyway, that's what I'm saying for you all. That's what I'm saying for you all. So congratulations to you, Taurus, you know, on finding your person. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ten of Pentacles. Very rich legacy. So this is a time right now. 
as we get ready to close out this cycle and this we had a full moon and a lunar eclipse we had a full moon in your sign this is a great time to sit down and think what do i want to leave behind like what do i want my name to be known for right so I want my name to be known for some pettiness and tearing people down and gossiping or whatever. The next moment is not even promised. How are you investing your time? If you invest, even the people who feel like did, did you wrong in the past, source is working through everybody. So um, don't get all caught up in the hype of this is, you know, people shouldn't be practicing this. They shouldn't be believing in that and so on. Source is working through everybody, literally working through everybody. So... Here we go. Journal 29. That's right. Two and nine is 11. 11 by now we know is a master number. So that's those two pillars. You're stepping through those two pillars. You're stepping into your own light. You're getting off the fence and saying, I need to heal myself, my way of thinking. I need to heal. I need to heal my way of talking about things, you know, and I need to start focusing on, you know, addressing an audience, right? An audience of people that's, that I'm making a major impact on my community and the world at large. So it, it is. Making an impact on your community. I'm telling you, with your legacy, everybody's going to benefit from it. Imagine if everybody was operating in their light. Everybody was operating in their light. Amazing. So surrender. Here we have 41. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't, dis the, uh, all that doesn't serve you, including any negative thinking. That's what all this, this is all this air out here. Somebody's talking about, somebody's talking hurt, you know, about how just, yeah, a lot of hurt there, you know, and somebody's been talk, talking hurt language, right? So so it's like, how about talking healed language so that you and your person can go and change the world together? You're part of the world together. So congratulations on whomever is going through this rebirth. I see you, like I said, right here. See this pillar right here? These pillars, this is the number 11, right? It's a Roman numeral too, but it's, you know, you're stepping through that light. It's not even by coincidence that this particular deck has the Roman numeral too. You're stepping through that pillar. You're stepping into your own light. You're getting off that fence. It's time for me to boldly and unapologetically live my purpose, the reason why I'm here on this planet. I'm not trying to tear anybody down. If I can't lift you up, then, I, you know, I'd rather release you. I'd rather move on. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you for joining me. I don't have any questions for anybody this time because I don't want to bombard you with questions. <laughs> you know, you're like, I just, I, the, we're not, we're in a different moon because people will let me know. It's like, we're not in that moon phase yet. I know. I usually give you all the moon phase question before we move into the moon phase. So you have the questions for, I think, in the moon in Leo. You have the questions for the moon in Virgo. For those of you all who don't have the questions for the moon in Virgo, or maybe I didn't give them to you, the first question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? Second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? Third question is, do you feel any fear um, around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how could you learn um, more from nature? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way could you could you could you all right number four i am stable right so you bring stability and rationality to any situation and you are a rock in your hard work and your perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague so what i wish for somebody is that as you and your person are building like an amazing legacy together is that you recognize the light side of the number four is really bringing to light that we are all divine beings of light having a human experience on this planet. And some people have had more painful human experiences than others. So when the dark side is my way or the highway. So if they don't understand that, okay, well, you were raised differently than they are, then, okay, then if it's causing that much friction and pain for somebody, okay, I need to release some things. I need to release some things. So certainly not. Well, anyway, but that's what I have for you. Again, I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.